players. I don't know what to think of this. Okay, so this is the most recent community crunch. Um, I did do the last one last week, but anyway, let's just get into this one. I'm just gonna read out what's going on. As the fateful day of September the 4th dawns near, heralding the arrival of Aberration Ascended and Bob's Tall Tales, Steampunk Ascent, we find ourselves on the gaps of a monumental revelation. In the grand tradition of progress and invasion, we present to you a masterwork unlike any other, the Indigis Automaton Serve 5 RM8. Survivor mate. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's let, let's just talk about this for a second. So if you do have the Bob's Tall Tales, the DLC, you will get this dude, or I think you, you probably might either have to build him I'm just gonna guess you probably have to build him. Whether or not you can have more than one, not sure. We have to wait and see. Basically, he's going to be your servant. He's gonna just do the chores for you. You know, if you don't want to do certain things, like get materials, uh, you know, resources, stuff like that, he's gonna basically help repair your structures as well if they're damaged. So that'll be handy in like PvP. Looks like he can also carry things for you as well. So yeah, so he'll always do all of the duties that you tell him to do. So it looks like he's going to be a very good companion to have around. So now that we've spoken about what he's going to be doing, I do want to talk about how OP is this going to be? I mean, it, it, it can't be like too overpowered because I just feel like that's just going to defeat the whole purpose of the, the game but the thing is look it's already kind of sounding uh to me and this is this is just my opinion on it that it's gonna be a lot like it's gonna give a lot and uh, there's nothing wrong with that but it's that whole um and i know i'm gonna get crap for this but it's it is a pay to win so you know it's like what 35 dollars or so to pay for the bob's tall tales uh actually i don't know how much it is in australia i think it's uh honestly it's honestly it works out the same amount but anyway look me personally i'm not a fan of it just because I don't mind doing the grinding, I don't mind going out, getting all the stuff that I need. And, you know, I kind of wonder, like, will it talk? Anyone thought about that? Like, if it's gonna kind of talk back in, like, a robot voice? <laughs> that might be pretty cool, too. Overall, I just I just feel like it's, uh, it's just more and more they're bringing things out, and it's, um... On one side, I'm like, okay, now that this is gonna be good, you know, I mean, they're adding this, this robot that can serve you, and give you stuff if you don't feel like going out collecting wood or collecting you know whatever stuff or helping you repair stuff you know one side I see that okay yeah that'll be cool but then on the other side I'm thinking about uh, all the people that maybe just can't get the DLC so I've got two minds about it um, one side I'm like oh yeah it seems cool the other side I'm like mmm yeah, I don't know, because it's just promoting more and more, uh, what you call it, people to pay for it, and then they get this, and then there is a disadvantage, you know, for the other players that don't get the DLC. But look, all in all, I think this will be great, but uh, we don't really know how it's going to, to be and how it's going to, you know, really, you know, work and stuff like that until it comes out. We've just got to wait and see what it's going to really be like and hey I might even change my mind <laughs> but for now I think I'm gonna end the video here so tell me what you guys think of it is this something you uh you know straight away you're going to be like oh yeah I'm getting the DLC now <laughs> it doesn't for me but anyway I will catch you guys in my next one